Hello everybody, on today's menu is homemade sriracha mayo with shrimp fried rice balls and thinly sliced scallions to garnish. This is a major party pleaser, so let's dive into the recipe. Whew, I am very excited about this recipe. So, adjust the mic a little bit so it doesn't get all scratchy. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is cook the shrimp. So let me get my saute pan on medium to, not medium heat, a little bit of oil in the pan, not too much. We're just gonna put these straight in the pan. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of crushed garlic in with the shrimp. Some Aleppo pepper, you can use Korean chili flakes if you want. A little bit of paprika, just to give it kind of a little bit of red spice. You want these to be, you know, seasoned a little bit. Give them a flip, and you're just gonna cook these until they just cook all the way through. So you're not gonna wanna give too much color on these. And then right at the end, you're gonna hit it with just a little bit of soy sauce. That's why I didn't salt them to begin with. A little tray with a paper towel, because you don't want these to be too oily, because we're gonna dress them with the rice. And then put that right there. Ooh, those look good. Now we're gonna put these in the fridge to cool down. Time to make sriracha mayo. All you want is one egg yolk. A little bit of soy, a little bit of soy sauce, sriracha, rice wine vinegar. Give that a little whisk. And then start slowly adding in some vegetable oil or flavorless oil. You can make the mayo if you want first and just add the sriracha to it. But this is just, I feel a little more grassroots. Get that emulsification going, make sure it's thick, no separation, and just whisk it all the way home, baby. One thing I like to do, ooh, you see how that's turning nice and pale? I love to do with all my mayos is add a little bit of ice. That way, when you're done with the mayo, the mayo is already cold. You don't have to wait for it in the fridge to, you know, sort of get sturdy and thicken up. Is that it really helps cool down the mayo really quickly. And so when you're done with it, it's almost just ready to use. Because there's a lot of friction going on when you're making mayo, especially like in a blender. This way, kind of combat, you're combating the, uh, the temperature and all that friction. Let's add a little bit of ice goes a long way. And one thing about doing it this way is you can really adjust the consistency of your mayo. Sometimes if you buy store-bought mayo, it's like you're just stuck with that super thick brand of mayo that you might want to adjust. And it's hard to do that without sort of mixing up the ratios. So this way you're kind of adjusting as you go and you get that exact ratio, almost like custardy, rich, but tangy and spicy sriracha mayo. Perfect, baby. All right. Cover that with a little bit of plastic wrap, put that in the fridge. Super simple garnish for this dish. Got some green onions, and we're just gonna use the tops. So an inch or two above that white part, save these for a million different reasons. And then with these guys, I'm gonna cut them in half. Take just a couple, stack them, and then you're just gonna slice. And put these in ice water. And essentially the cold water just constricts those really finely sliced green onions and they sort of curl up and make for a really beautiful kind of like frizzy green onion garnish that is just beautiful. And it's already starting to happen. They start, they just get this, this curl to them. And it makes for just a really fun garnish. Plus the ice water mellows out some of that spicy onion flavor. So you can really eat it like a salad. I'm gonna get the rice and the shrimp out. Peel off the shell. 
and I love that these came shelled, even though they were deveined. It's nice to have the shell because it does add a little bit of that flavor, shrimpy flavor that you love. Ooh, it's so tempting to just eat this right now. All right, that looks super good. Those are all peeled, ready to go. Now you just want to sprinkle just a little bit of flour on each shrimp, just not much, just enough to just barely coat the flesh of the shrimp because it's a little oily and the, the rice will just sort of slip right off if you don't do this. And it develops kind of just a little bit of that a slurry on the, on the flesh of the shrimp. Okay, now you got a little bit of cold water. Get your rice, you're gonna make it into like a patty, like a thin patty. You're just gonna ball the shrimp up as best you can. Put the shrimp right in there, close it up, make sure it's fully enclosed, and just leave that tail just sticking out ever so slightly so you know what's inside. It's a nice, beautiful, plump shrimp. Beautiful, and that's it. Shrimp ball. That should be good to go. So it's almost like little shrimp arancini without the risotto rice. All right, so you want the oil to be, you want the oil to be around 375, between 375 and 400, and it is time to fry. So let's do this. Gently place them in there. Take them out and repeat the process. Make sure you give these a really good seasoning when they come out of the fryer. Otherwise, it'll be bland. Ooh, this looks good. All right, and to plate this up, super simple. Sriracha mayo down. A little bit more. And the scallions. That's it, super simple. Shrimp fried rice balls. All right, now it's time for my favorite part, taste test time. I'm actually gonna load one of these up with a little bit more sriracha mayo, because why not? Oh yeah, never enough sriracha mayo. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Super crispy on the outside. Tender rice in the middle. You have that wonderful burst of shrimp beauty. And uh, the sriracha mayo add that spice, a little bit of richness, and those beautiful little scallions that add that, you know, pop of, you know, freshness. And a little green on the plate. So, super simple recipe. Lots of ways you could uh, mess around this. You can even kind of chop up the shrimp and just form some little balls and fry them in the fryer. Make it super easy instead of this, you know, maybe a little bit more complex dish. But all in all, a very fun recipe. And uh, folks would just really enjoy this if you made it for a gathering or a party. So I hope you guys enjoyed the recipe. If you did, subscribe, like, comment down below. And I'll see you guys next time with another recipe. Later, folks.